السلام علیکم کلاس دس از ہیرا افشا اینڈ اگین آئی ایم ہیئر ود این ادر کیس اسٹڈی دیٹ از فار دا یورینری ڈرگ انفیکشن اینڈ دس از فار فائنل ایئر اسٹوڈنٹس مارننگ اینڈ ایوننگ سیشنس اے بی اینڈ سی گروپ so uh, the present complaints of the patient is uh, the uh, the history include the 23 year old uh, healthy female uh, presents to the clinic with a two day history of on and off dysuria dysuria means difficulty in urination she has urgency uh, of urine and increased frequency of urine and uh, a single episode of gross hematuria or the blood in her urine and uh, there is no fever or back pain and the uh, medication history uh, include the sh- uh, she has self medicated herself with the cranberry juice and pyridium 200 mg uh, which is the phenazopyridine hydrochloride and uh, this drug is indicated for the symptomatic relief of pain burning or urgency or frequency uh, of urine and other discomforts arising from the irritation of the lower urinary tract uh, mucosa caused by the infection and uh, this uh, pyridium or the cranberry juice uh, was left over from her previous urinary tract infection uh, these medications were prescribed to her uh, for her previous uti uh, by the clinician so she <clears throat> has self medicated it with these drugs her uh, urine is uh, dark colored and she has two prior utis in the past year and which were successfully treated each time with the uh, trimethoprim or and the sulfamethoxazole combination uh, 160 mg per 800 mg twice a day for 3 days The last UTI was four months ago, and there is no history of pyelonephritis, or there is no damage to the kidneys. The clinical findings include uh, she is sexually active, and there is no history of sexually transmitted diseases. And uh, physical examination shows that she is afebrile, or there is no fever with no suprapubic tenderness. and uh, so what will be the diagnosis the patient has the primary symptom of the dysuria or difficulty in urination uh, given her history of recurrent utis and her response to trimethoprim and the sulfamethoxazole it is likely that she was infected with the e coli in the past or the escherichia coli e coli is the most prevalent pathogen in this scenario uh, in case of the utis and she is at risk of reinfection due to the previous antibiotic therapy and the sexual activity maybe this e coli has uh, got resistant to the uh, trimethoprim and the sulfamethoxazole and she has uh, reinfected from this agent so therefore the first possibility for diagnosis would be uncomplicated lower tract uti or urinary tract infection which is characterized uh, characterized by a symptomatic patient with bacterial colony count of more than 100 colonies per ml culture and sensitivity test are particularly important with recurrent utis to exclude the infection with the new organisms such as the proteus uh, myriblus or the klebsiella pneumonia or the emergence of e coli resistance to trimethoprim and the sulfamethoxazole so the culture and the sensitivity test would be recommended for this patient to check the involvement of the pathogen and uh, or which type of organism is involved in this uti infection and for this patient the urine sampling uh, is done with the dipstick or the microscopic urine analysis can also be done and the culture and the sensitivity test should be considered as the next step so the uh, urine analysis the sam- sample would be taken with the help of the dipstick the um, stick is uh, dipped in to the urine to get the sample and then microscopic uh, urine analysis Uh, would be done 
and uh, then the report will be uh, then the sample will be sent for the culture and sensitivity test the urine analysis was positive for the pyuria or the uh, pus cells are present at three leukocytes per hpf high power field and the it is a unit and the urine culture was sent uh, for culture and sensitivity test the information obtained so far suggest a lower uh, urinary tract infection since the urine culture results are pending and findings uh, point to an uncomplicated uh, lower uti so immediate management should include the antimicrobial therapy with the activity against the e coli and the staphylococcus saprophyticus the these are the two most common uti pathogens in women during the reproductive years which can cause the urinary tract infection and the choices uh, uh, for the treatment of this uti include the trimethoprim and the sulfamethoxazole which is uh, already taken by the patient in the past and it is inexpensive but it has the risk of possible e coli resistance or the resistance uh, e coli has got resistant to this drug the nitrofurantoin relatively inexpensive with little uh, e coli or uh, strepto uh, staphylococcus saprophyticus resistance and with an added benefit of sparing normal vaginal flora and little risk of subsequent uh, candida vaginitis uh, nitrofurantoin uh, would be a better choice or a fluoroquinolone which is most expensive but with the activity against most strains of e coli proteus mirabilis and staphylococcus saprophyticus but with a growing concern about excessive use and subsequent resistance so these are the choices uh, which we can opt for the treatment of the uti in this patient the following are the doses for this patient the trimethoprim uh, or sulfamethoxazole combination uh, can be taken in 160 mg trimethoprim and 800 mg sulfamethoxazole twice daily uh, for 3 days but consider the resistance potential also nitrofurantoin uh, 5200 mg four times each day for 7 days uh, can also be taken and the levofloxacin 250 mg once a day for 3 days or ciprofloxacin 250 mg twice a day for 3 days can also be taken uh, if we are uh, going on the fluoroquinolones to treat this uti with these drugs thank you this is all about the uti uh, infection uh, if you have any question you can ask me anytime thank you